afternoon, everybody. Today I've invited Kendall Smith, the executive director of the Art Museum. Is that better? Yeah. Okay, sorry. Um, today I've invited to speak to us the executive director of the Art Museum of Greater Lafayette to talk to you about the latest uh, public art project currently downtown. Um, I don't know very much about Kendall's background, I just realized, and I failed to ask him beforehand, but for my nine years here of living in the Lafayette area, um, without knowing what his background is, I do know that we're lucky to have him and appreciate um, his professionalism and all of his hard work in sustaining the art museum and the public art outreach that originates from the art museum. So thank you, Kendall, and tell us about lions, tigers, and bears. Okay. Thank you, Diane. As soon as we get rigged up here with our my Apple laptop, which doesn't always connect with everything in the PC world very well. <laughs> Okay. It's always a little technological glitch. Thank you. Okay. Well, I, I know many of you have been to the Art Museum of Greater Lafayette, and I've been here before, and uh, thank you for inviting me again. We've received uh, a couple of nice gifts from the Kiwanis Club in the past to support programs at the Art Museum. Our Art Museum was founded in 1909. I'm going to give you a really quick history so that you uh, can, so it sticks in your mind a little bit. And uh, <clears throat> the building's located on 9th Street with an entrance on 10th Street. We're between the two streets. Uh, the parking lot and main entrance is on 10th Street. Then <clears throat> um, the purpose of the Art Museum when they were found, when we were founded in 1909 by a uh, an artist named Laura Ann Fry and a group of uh, uh, people interested in the arts was to stimulate and encourage interest in art, give annual exhibitions, and to maintain a permanent collection of art. And although our mission statement has changed several times through the years, it remains focused on those three areas. We collect art, preserve it, exhibit art, and educate people about art. Um, our first facility was at 638 Main Street. Some of you may remember a uh, long time ago, and from 1928 until 1960, we were located on the second floor of the long building with the little shops on the uh, north side of Main Street that has the cobbler shop in it. Uh, the second floor was the Art Museum and the Tiffany County Historical Association before either of us had our own facilities. And that was compliments of David Lynn Ross, who founded Ross Gear Corporation. He uh, donated that space for uh, 32 years to both organizations until we were able to finally purchase some property from the Fowler House, which is next door to us. Now it's been sold again recently. Uh, but we purchased the grounds that we're on from the Fowler House, from the Tippecanoe County Historical Association. It was part of the Fowler House property. In 1960, we built our museum uh, where we are today. We change exhibitions in the museum uh, four times a year. This is a current exhibition called Continuing the Thread. It's the 100th anniversary of the America's Quilt Club. And we're uh, happy to have, actually, we have two galleries with exhibitions of their hand-stitched quilts over the years. And uh, these exhibitions closed after Labor Day weekend, so if you haven't been there, you you might want to come and look. And we're open every day from 11 to 4, seven days a week. Language of the Road is in our East Gallery. It's a Purdue professor named Charles Gick, a very contemporary exhibition. He did one of the parts of this exhibition is a three-dimensional coat that takes about half of the size of this room to exhibit, uh, and you can walk around it, and it's 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 got his. Uh, comments regarding that coat, and there are a lot of um, two-dimensional works of his in the East Gallery as well. And then another one that you might be interested in is the artwork of T.C. Steele. Anybody know who T.C. Steele was? Uh, T.C. Steele was uh, he's probably the preeminent uh, 
historic artist in Indiana. He was an early Impressionist in the late 1800s, and he led the Hoosier group of artists who are continued still to be the most uh, famous in, in the history of, of Indiana artists. We have eight TC Steelworks on exhibition. Six of them are on loan by the Hahn Museum. Uh, they're good partners with us and have been for years. Um, and two of them are in our permanent collection. Well, public art is what we're going to talk about today. And um, we started the public art project in 2003 with Hog Wild. And uh, there were hogs all over the community in two, a couple of different positions. Uh, and these are these pieces of uh, <laughs> these uh, these hogs were created by artists in our community and sponsored by businesses in the community. And the importance of a public art project for our museum and for the community is uh, are a couple things. One, we get to engage the art museum with the community by putting something right out in front of your nose that you have to trip over, and so you get to experience art. Uh, and without coming into the uh, museum and, and seeing things on the walls. We also engage artists with local businesses. And the local artists have create the work and the businesses sponsor the, the art. And so they, they work together in this project. And then finally, we make it a fun uh, way for, for all of you to experience art as you walk through our community. Uh, Uncle Ham Wants You is one of the original pigs. Jam and Ham by Pat Huffman. Lori Amick, I asked her to speak with me today, but she was engaged otherwise. <coughs> Guggenham by uh, artist Louis, Louis Laskowski. Um, and Pig, Pigtriotic, Battleground Middle School. Then we had Frog Follies in 2005, and the frogs were hopping all over the community. This is Lily Pads by Jeff Klinker. Anyone know who Jeff Klinker is? He's a local uh, plein air artist and he's, he's very important in our artists in our community. Don't Worry, Be Hobby by Rebecca Brody. Happy is the Day. Um, the Grand Total by LaDonna Bohar. Raining Cats and Frogs, which is, was the old Lafayette Savings Bank. They're gone now. Um, Pool Party by Terry Duncan, Bert, Burton Pools. And then in 2009, for the centennial uh, of the Art Museum, um, <coughs> we co-sponsored Dog Days of Summer with the Purdue School of Veterinary Medicine. School of Vet Medicine was 50 years old in 2009, and we were 100 years old. So we partnered to bring a companion animal downtown, and um, in downtown Lafayette and West Lafayette. So we had. Uh, dogs all over the place. The dog on the left, a serious stargazer by Janet Combs Ibis, was actually purchased by France Cordova and put in the lawn of Westwood where it still stands on guard. She was an astrophysicist, as you remember, and so uh, she was really, if you look closely at that, it's got all the constellations in it. It's hard to see from this picture, but it's, it's in front of Westwood. Some of the artists at upper left, um, we're picking up their blank dogs when we kick this off. And then when we had them all together down below in the Fowler House lawn for our uh, spot sponsors and artist party, uh, we all rejoiced. News Hound was uh, Dave Sattler, the cartoonist for the Journal and Courier. That was sponsored by the Journal and Courier. That was a good one. And um, um, there's an honor in being a dog, which had dog portraits on it. By then in 2011, we did another public art exhibition, but it was within the art museum. It was charity. Um, and charity, got we got 101 artists to create chairs. We couldn't put them out in the community because they're too fragile. So we exhibited them at all the galleries of the art museum throughout the summer of 2011. And there were a lot of fun chairs in there. The Lazy Boy Recliner <laughs> was sponsored by Lazy Boy. And, that's hand painted on, on, on there by LaDonna Bohar and, uh, and Lori Amick, the boy. It's, a, it's painted on the chair. Oh, 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 yeah. <laughs> he looks real. Yeah, they're very realistic. These are also by LaDonna and, uh, and Lori Amick. Um, the Picasso and the coffee. And there's uh, hogs, frogs, and bears sitting out in front of the art museum. 
Lions and tigers and bears, oh my. Well, that came from the Wizard of Oz, as you probably know, uh, that when Dorothy and the Tin Man and the Lion were walking into the forest, and they got a little afraid of uh, what might happen in the forest and chanted lions and tigers and bears, oh my. And we titled this, um, it was originally going to be Bears, but we looked for a, a diamond sponsor for two years before we got started for this project, and a diamond sponsorship is $20,000 for a business to get their name on the whole event. And we finally got uh, in touch with Bob Rohrman, and he agreed to be our diamond sponsor. So the Rohrman Auto Group is our diamond sponsor, and he said, well, can't you make them all lions? And I said, well... <laughs> Why don't we do lions and tigers and bears? And that's how that got started. So um, we have two lions, one tiger, and 37 bears. <laughs> and Bob's very happy about his uh, relationship with this project. So these are some of the artists creating their work. Laura and La Laurie and LaDonna with one of their bears, Louis Laskowski and um, Jill Baker. <clears throat> Uh, Battleground Middle School, we had six uh, schools who, and, who created bears. Uh, Battleground Middle School was just one of them. I thought that was a great picture with, uh, with uh, Ying Laramore, who's their, their art teacher in the center, in the lower center, and um, uh, while they're creating their bear. And then we have an annual event uh, at the, at the, the, to... Uh, a fundraiser for the art museum that's held at the Lafayette Country Club every February around Valentine Day called the Heart of Art. And this year, uh, in, and to, while, while the artists were still working on their bears, we had one of the unfinished bears there uh, to promote the event, and that's one of the photographs. We had a photo booth set up so people could get their pictures taken that's with the bear. And I like the one with the three ladies. I don't know who any of them are, but they all had red dresses on. <laughs> that's a nice shot. Now there's uh, one of the lions. The, the two lions for Bob Roman were created by artist Becky Brody, and they're, they're located, by the way, I'll, I'll make, we have a bear map, and it tells about each one on the back of it, and there's a stack of them by your badge case in the back. Um, and I also have uh, back there these brochures that were just printed about classes at the art museum. If you're interested in taking a class, we have adult classes and guilds. Uh, Diane knows that. She's been involved with the art museum classes. And um, uh, pick one up. We also have them for kids. So if your kids or grandkids might be interested in a class, take one of those. And the other one, is, th these two are on the corner of 9th and Main, Caddy Corner. One's in front of Bison Financial, and, and the other one's Caddy Corner from it. Kind of the entrance way. The single tiger. Has anybody seen this tiger? Yes. Yeah. Where is it? Right, it's on Main Street. It's right across from the courthouse. It's in the front of Fountain Gallery. That's Purdue's new gallery downtown Lafayette. And uh, it's hidden. It's not on a concrete slab like everything else. It's up on the planter box with foliage around it. And the idea was to kind of make the, the tiger a little sneaky, a little hard to find. A lot of people have asked, well, where's the tiger? So it's, it's fun to discover that. And it's one of the nicest pieces. Yeah. <laughs> it's very realistic, Tiger. It? It's kind of sneaky. Well, when we uh, started this project in 2013, the first people that Barb Reed, who's their chair of our, our project, and I at, went to meet with was Tony Roswarski and asked Tony if the city would... Uh, chip in and be a $5,000 sponsor for a bear that we could use to promote the event. And he said, when do you need the check? I mean, they are, he is so um, interested in, the, in, in uh, engaging the, the public with the arts in our community that uh, that's never a problem. Next thing we went, next day over to meet with John Dennis, said the same thing. So John Dennis and so West Lafayette and Lafayette <coughs> were our first two bears. The one for Lafayette is Bernard de Lafayette, which is patterned after a sort of a French trader who might have landed on the Wabash where Fort Wyatman was. <coughs> Very nice bear. And, uh, and to, the bear for West Lafayette kind of brings us about three centuries later with 
to it, sort of a street art theme. Uh, this is by artist Zach Medler, who's doing some of the murals that you see that are being done downtown, downtown Lafayette. He did West Lafayette's there. <clears throat> that one's now located in front of uh, Morton Center, which is the temporary uh, office for the, for the city. And uh, Wesley, the Westminster Bear, was uh, organized by artist San, like Sandy Daniel, and a lot of the people at Westminster Village contributed <clears throat> to the artwork uh, that's on uh, Wesley. <clears throat> the one that was uh, the heart of art with the three girls uh, in the red dresses standing by it was finally finished, and it's called Maurice. And do you remember the uh, book by Maurice Sendak that you read to your kids or grandkids called Where the Wild Things Are? Uh, Maurice Sendak is who inspired this uh, work by Janice, Janet Combs Ivis. And it's got images from a lot of his stories on it. And it was su such a nice bear that I asked Kirby Risk if they would sponsor it and then donate it to the Tiffany uh, County Library, oh, which they, which he, uh, Kirby Risk has agreed to do, Jim Risk, and uh, this will belong to the library. It's sitting in front of the door where you enter from the parking lot on the library, not on South Street, but on the other side where you walk into the library. It's under the portico now, but eventually it'll be in the children's area on a special platform uh, permanently inside the, the, west, uh, the Tiffany County Library. Um, artist Elizabeth, Elizabeth Lindcourt did uh, Barely There, and that sits in front of the art museum. And it's called Barely There because uh, it's like you can't see the bear for the forest. <laughs> and that was her, her idea. <clears throat> and Rockette the Circus Bear is the, takes the prize for the heaviest bear. It's made out of river stones that are mosaic onto it by artist Bonnie Zimmer. And it sits on the little island uh, across from Chipotle Grill on State Street, right as you go up between Chauncey Hill uh, um, outside. Uh, artist Rena Brower did one for uh, Cargill. It was their 150th anniversary. That sits by the Triple X. Bearing the Greatness. Uh, <clears throat> this is set, um, uh, by uh, Aaron Hamrick, and that sits in front of Lafayette Community Bank. Carol and the Twins, this is a really nice one. They've got, it's the, uh, the panda bear with the two baby bears, and it's made, it was created for the Read to Succeed program and sponsored by United Way. It sits in front of the West Lafayette Library. And Read to Succeed will, will keep that bear. Uh, this one's in Wabash uh, Landing, right in front of Scotty's Brew Pub. It's got a lot of intricate little washers and pennies and chains and things uh, that are that create really interesting designs on it by artist Nicole Peraskovic. No Place Like Home, you know, Southwestern Middle School just reopened their school after the tornado two years ago. They opened it yesterday, and uh, they've sponsored a bear. They've got a lot of people to chip in and sponsored their bear, which is uh, about that tornado. You can see the tornado. The tornado is kind of on this side of it. Entangled uh, sits by the uh, old National Bank Big Tower office building uh, next uh, near Second and Columbia Streets. And um, this artist Kelly Lumen and her husband, e each of them did a bear. And Kelsey did this with. I asked her how she created it. If you look closely at it, it's really incredible work. And she did it all with a triple lock paintbrush, tiny little brush and black acrylic paint. This has been hundreds of hours. Uh, this one had a little publicity because it was one of the ones that got some uh, vandalism to it early in the project. But it's one of the really nicest bears. It sits by Marjoram Fountain uh, across from Scott, across from the uh, the hotel um, on Tapwingo Drive, <clears throat> and it's got 
actually you can kind of you see into the bear it's cut out so you see what is the workings within the bear created by uh, Morgan Assay who's a uh, West Lafayette or, or rather Happy Hollow uh, art teacher and Sarah Furbush is uh, an in intern there and they created a beautiful positively delicious uh, sits at, at the corner of 10th or 9th Street and um, South Street where the barber shop is uh, and you can see the idea with the bear wishing he were eating fish, I think. <laughs> yeah. Teddy Bear is after is by the uh, Jeff High School U.S. History and Government class. It's uh, focused on uh, uh, President Teddy Roosevelt. Uh, Bolt the Super Bear by Jill Baker is, is uh, sponsored by MP Electric. MP Baker Electric sits right in front of the police station door. So that, that one's never been vandalized. <laughs> <laughs> Gummy Boiler Bear um, is, is, uh, is um, sponsored by uh, Sue Holder and her law office, and it was created by Dave Sattler and Angela Vinson, um, and they actually used 10,000 real gummy bears, you know, the kind you eat, coated them with epoxy. We told them they shouldn't do it in the first place, and they said, oh, it'll be fine. We're going to coat them with epoxy, dip them, and then they'll dry, and then we're going to glue them all on and coat the whole thing. Well, that lasted about two weeks until the sun burned down on it, and the, the side towards the deer was, uh, started to melt, and they, they had a couple leaks in it and just kept getting worse. So they took it back, and actually uh, it was gone for about three weeks, and they took it over to uh, Dave Sattler's um, Lafayette Printing uh, Studios there, and uh, you know they've got artist studios upstairs called the Bindery now, and that's where they they were working. <clears throat> and uh, Angela actually created ten thousand little gummy bears out of ceramic clay, fired them all, wow. coated them, glued them back on, and recreated this bear, so it's permanent. <laughs> And Sue Holder's uh, plan is to donate it to, uh, to, to the Purdue uh, Athletic uh, Organization, and maybe uh, she'd like to see it in Mackey Arena when it's all over. It'll stay now. Uh, Jeff Plinker created uh, I'd Rather Be Fishing. That sits in front of the Columbia building on Columbia Street. Uh, and um, he's a wonderful artist. This doesn't, you have to look at that. Oh, he's so cute. Darlene Mitchell, Honey Bear, sponsored by Reed and Company. And Burnett Creek Elementary, Everybody Rides. This one's about bus riding, has a, a paintings of the, some of the mayors of Lafayette on the side, and, and uh, on the other side is Rosa Parks in a bus, and this sits in front of Reed and Company on uh, Main Street. It's got some vandalism. It had an air cleaner on the nose, and it's got the lies, the, the head, the tail lights kind of make the bear eyes, and they're actually they're lighted up electrically. Had a couple of smokestacks on top that somebody broke off. So um, we've had a little vandalism, but not too much. Artist Sharon Owens is glass artist, has an inspired fire. Uh, she created the Bernice the ballerina bear sits in front of Long Center, and uh, it's actually got the the in the. Uh, Around the uh, tutu here, these are actually all glass beads that she fired. These artists put an incredible amount of time in this. They only get four hundred dollars, so that's not even enough to you know buy some of the material in some cases. They do it for the love of the project, and so it's good to appreciate them. We have a an iPhone app. If you look in your app store, if you have an iPhone and look up Art Museum of Greater Lafayette, you'll find it, it's a free app, and it has a map, an interactive map of the bears, shows you where you are, gives you information on all of them, and you have to like the ones that you think are really good. And the one with the most likes is going to win $1,000, the artist, so that's after, day after Labor Day. If you don't have an iPhone, you can go to our website, Art Museum of Greater Lafayette, it's artlafayette.org, you can Google it, find it easily, and you can vote there. But vote for the ones that you think are really good, because the artists uh, are going to get, uh, it's going to win a prize based on your votes. Monarch Bear, the Monarch Butterflies, that sits in front of the Lafayette Brewing Company. Uh, Blossom Bear, 
Um, gorgeous one. It's down down by the farmers market. <coughs> Can you hear me? Yeah. <laughs> okay. Um, and I'm sorry if I'm running a little late. I'm about down here. Bare necessities. Uh, we are Ridge Middle School Club. It was nice to have all these schools involved and their teachers. Uh, that one's got got dreadlocks on it. And sits on um, it's on Fifth Street. <coughs> by Mulhawk. Jack Nicklaus is the golden bear and uh, that was done for um, uh, the long uh, companies and Tom and Susan and Tully. They wanted, uh, they wanted something with, done with Jack Nicklaus so um, Judy Tice created this bear and those are real golf clubs on his back and that sits on the corner of Ferry Street and Fifth. Very Berry Bear by Jerry Arts. Berries. Um, Franny, uh, this is uh, for Franciscan St. Elizabeth Health Women's Center, and it's, uh, it's kind of things that are comforting for women and children, kids, quilting, it's a quilt. Uh, this is the one you saw being created by the Battleground Middle School called Fur Elise, uh, a play on the, uh, the music. Rohr Lichtenstein is Pop Art Bear. That sits on the corner of, um, right in front of um, Lafayette Bank and Trust office on 3rd, is it 3rd? Oh, yeah, 3rd yeah, yeah. and Main Street. It's a fun bear. Right down the street from it, in front of Red 7 is Leisure Larry. <clears throat> you can't see it here, but on the left side of that bear, there originally had a, a nice wooden suitcase, full size. It had old old travel decals. You remember the decals that they used to the people used to stick on their suitcases. And uh, the artist Ashley Phillips created a beautiful suitcase, and it was all covered with uh, clear fiberglass, and and it was bolted down. And somebody broke it off and took it up the first week. You know, after Purdue was out, we didn't have any more vandalism. I don't know why that is. When Purdue students left, it kind of stopped. <laughs> Somebody took that home with them, I imagine. Gummy Bear, uh, this is created by Edward Trover. He's a, actually a Terre Haute artist. He's our only out of town artist that entered. And uh, that's gonna end up, it's being sponsored to be put at the new YWCA Women's Shelter. And it's a fun one, it's really nice, colorful. Uh, you know, Arnie's is celebrating their 50th anniversary, so this is, uh, done by artist Louis yeah. Laskowski with all the images that you see with Arnie and Brad Cohen and, and all the things around the at, at in front of the county building um, on uh, 3rd and Columbia Street. You have to look at these closely to enjoy them. Mm -hmm. Kevin, uh, this doesn't show the whole image, but you can see on the lower photo on the bottom, he's got Swim fins on and, the, and a, and a uh, kind of a Hawaiian bathing suit. And he's got a snorkel and and a mask. And this is that the, the sponsors, Steve and Terry Reed, live in Indianapolis, and they're good supporters of the museum. And they said they wanted one created to put by their swimming pool. So that's <laughs> that's where Kevin's going to end up. That's um, uh, across from the courthouse on Columbia Street. This one's over there too. This is in front of the Greater Lafayette Commerce Building. Uh, their bear, it's a beautiful bear. It's all done with uh, mosaic tile. And um, probably some of you have seen that one. It got hit by a, a car last week. And it not hit, hit the corner of the slab that was on, shoved it up in against the uh, stainless steel sculpture that's in front of the uh, Greater Lafayette Commerce. and. Nobody saw or reported the accident, but they, we found the damage later. The city did and recorded it. And the concrete slab is broken off from the corner. The plaque was run over. It didn't touch a tile on the bear. It was really nice. So it's put back in, and we're getting a new plaque for it. It's back where it belongs. Uh, this is a 50s uh, Chevy themed bear by Ken Clem, who has a sign shop out on 52. Huh? 
Yeah, and that's in front of the gas, the old oh, gas station yeah, by the by the county library. I did. Um, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, it's nice, isn't it? That's a funny one. Sunshine, Gabriella Sinich. Yeah, it's beautiful. And then uh, when we, we we ran into an artist at the Grand Rapids Art Prize last fall uh, who had an exhibit of, of zoo animals made out of found scrap materials. Um, and they're, they're really incredible. And um, I invited him. He, he was a finalist in the top 20 of the, for the $500,000 prize at Grand Rapids for the art prize competition. And um, I, he didn't win. But, so I got in touch with him later and I said, well, you, could we bring your zoo down to Lafayette? So we did that and it's in the Fowler House lawn next to the art museum just through Labor Day weekend. If you haven't seen it, we, there are people there day and night. Anytime you go by, there are people out taking pictures and looking at them. And it's, these works are really incredible. Uh, they're all full-size, 22 full-size zoo animals made out of junk. Uh, that's the giraffe that we're installing up in the tree. Uh, when we had the kick of this, the artist with number 23 on from <coughs> Detroit, Michigan, <clears throat> we had a, a kickoff event. Uh, it was a Saturday afternoon, and we had over 500 people there. We gave away 300 Dog and Suds hot dogs that they donated, and, uh, and that much root beer, and 20 pounds of popcorn, and 300 cotton candy cones. So we know there were a lot more people than that, because a lot of them didn't eat those things. And it was a really fun day. And um, the School of Veterinary Medicine is one of our sponsors, and the City of Lafayette is a sponsor as well. So um, Dean uh, Reed from the School of Veterinary Medicine said, well, let's uh, have our uh, vet students check these animals in when they unload them to make sure they're able to withstand the summer heat and stand out there all, all summer. So we use that for a press uh, opportunity and had some, had a, there was a picture in the Journal of the Courier too. We had a nice day. They had about 15 uh, vet students that came over and checked them all in, make sure they were healthy. There's a sloth up in the tree. Yeah. A sloth way up in the tree. I don't know if you can see that. What is What? Sloth. Sloth. Oh. That's the three-toed sloth. I see. I see. And when when we had our opening, the Columbian Park mm -hmm. uh, brought the, brought some petting zoo animals over, and they brought a real sloth. And they have kind of a tree fixture for it to climb on. You can pet it, and they hang upside down and sideways. They're pretty interesting. Um, then we have an orangutan, gorilla. They're all full size. Panda, peacock. Um, the artist created all the works, and our curator put the environments together for it. And it's all made out of scrap materials. Those are cut up foam slabs and. Uh, siding off of houses to make the, the Arctic experience there. And I um, just want to mention that, that all the works in that uh, exhibit are for sale, and there are uh, 22 of them, 12 of them have already sold. So wow. people really love these. You should come and look at them. Yeah. Thanks for having me here today. That was very nice, and it, it was nice because not all of us have the time or the abilities to get out to see these, so we, we got a snapshot of all, of all of them in very short order. So we thank you very much, Kendall, and we do know how much you do for the community. Do you want to